hi guys welcome back to mama soj vlog how are you guys doing if you are new here you are welcome and if you are returning subscriber god bless you as you always come back to watch my video my people will be smart you know one that shall never end now the phone is not the line for my table on i know say as the news they come out out now so they carry a call to go share with her all right my people for today's video i'm going to watch her together with her all right, my people, we could go watch the video to see what really did happen for inside the video, my people. With the strict laws of Islam, this is from a Islamic ideology called Wahhabism. This Wahhabism spends billions of dollars every year, giving money to all the scholars, spreading this ideology. Many of the Nigerian Islamic clerics are Wahhabists. The Nigerian Muslim and Islamic elites know this fact. They know that Wahhabism controls Nigerian Islam. From northern Nigeria to southwest Nigeria, all these Afars and Imams are all Wahhabists. Majority of them. This is the real problem. And nobody is doing anything to curb that. Nobody is doing anything to curb that. We must curb the extreme. I'm not, I'm not saying don't do it. Islam, do your Islam. But there's an extreme part of it that is allowed to flow into our country unchecked. It is unchecked. Nobody does anything about it. Wahhabism is everywhere in this country. When you see children in Ilekeu being flogged by force to learn, that is Wahhabism, right? That strict enforcement of Islam. Strict enforcement of islam what are we doing to end the 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 wahhabism that is just entering into this country unchecked that is leading to boko haram that is leading to banditry all this craziness in the name of religion What are we doing to end it? Can they practice Islam and even look for an African way to practice it? A way that embraces the Africanness that we are? As I said yesterday, I did a Facebook. If you go on my Facebook, I said, we must not allow anything be above our Africanness. Nothing. We must not embrace anything that encourages us in any way, shape or form to kill african people it is important that we understand that or else we are no longer africans we are no longer africans if there's anything in you that is making you feel it's okay to kill african people then we are no longer africans i will just sit down here and let nigeria turn into somalia Hmm? Are we not going to sit down here and let this country turn into Somalia? Because if the elite of this country, the northern elite especially, this so-called aristocrat of the Fulani, the Sultan, this all these emirs of, you know, even Sanusi has a extremist past, the former emir of Kanu. So when I say extremism in Nigeria, it is not like extremism. It is the you people think about it. You think it's the poor people. These poor people you see on the street of Sokoto, eh? They are the food soldiers. They are the food soldiers. This extremism comes from the top. It comes from the top. So the Nigerian elites, the northern Nigerian elites, they know that this Wahhabism is dangerous. But because they give them money from Saudi Arabia, they allow it. They say nothing about the dangers that it portends in our society and our community. Knowing very well that Nigeria is constitutionally a secular state. When you hear these northern people making all these comments, like this, prof this professor that is talking in his, that is saying that uh, the greater good, the lesser evil, that is justifying the death of that girl, is because of the grants he is receiving from Saudi Arabia. He's saying those things. You understand? He has to protect the Wahhabist funding that he is receiving to spread the message that he is spreading.
This is too much. It is too much. It is too much. My problem, really, I always say to people is, what is not killing us in Africa? What is it that African people have done? That everything must be killing us. Even the one we know concern us. The one we know do. The one we know, everything must come and kill us in Africa. What's going on with that? Polio is back. Lassa fever is killing us. Lassa fever. Malaria is killing us. Avoidable death. Anything that can kill anybody is killing Africans. Aren't we tired of dying? Aren't we tired of dying? And why our elites not protecting us? Nigeria has done everything for these people. These rich people and big people, powerful people in this country, they are the laziest powerful people and rich people in the world. Because they are the only rich people where you cannot see what they've built ever. They have no legacy. They have invented nothing. They have created nothing. They have built no institutions. They have done nothing in their life. Yet they are all billionaires. Nigeria and Nigerians have given them everything. Nigerians and Nigeria have given them everything. Can't they at least just protect us? While you are sitting up there enjoying, living large, flying private jet, drinking champagne, chopping, fucking all the fine guests. Live, just at least let when you see something bad wants to come and happen to your people that have given you all these things, just say, ah, I beg, I beg. Don't take that to my people. Stop it. Protect us at least. Even though you don't do anything for us, even though you don't educate us. All our children at home can't go to school. You can't educate us. You can't treat us. You can't protect. Uh, you can't uh, give us good roads. You can't give us light. You can't give us water. You can't give us good telephone line. At least give us life. At least leave us with our life. When you see something that can come and kill us, protect us. Why are you people not talking about Wahhabism in this country? Why are you allowing it to rain from southwest to see? It is the same Wahhabism they are teaching them in the north that they are teaching them here in the southwest and in the southeast and anywhere that there are Muslims in this country. Trust me on that. The only Muslim sect that is not teaching Wahhabism is the Shia. They have their own idea. The Shia Muslims. And look at what the Sunni Wahhabist Muslims are doing to the Shias in this country every day. Killing them everywhere in a lock El Zakaze up for how many years? Kill six of his children because the Nigerian military hierarchy is controlled by Sunni Muslims. Using the Nigerian military force to fight a religious battle on African soil, wasting African lives. Why are these people like this? Why are they like this? With all the enjoyment that you enjoy in this country, you people cannot at least. So what? Wait, what is it about killing us that just is so sweet to you? What is this agreement you have signed with the devil? What is this agreement you people have entered with the devils of this world that you are just enjoying killing your own? Son? Why are you people going around with hundred policemen, soldier men? of Sokoto right now being destroyed I don't know what's happening to on my life you know see the whole street of Sokoto being upside down burning where are the peaceful people to come outside where are the peaceful ones to come outside and resist because I know all the big men in Sokoto have five five police in their house if they bring all those police outside leading them in their own protest to say we don't support this nonsense nothing will happen to them but they know that inside they support it inside their heart inside their heart they support it inside their heart so the northern elite of this country the southwestern elite of this country all of you that open your eye and allow dangerous ideologies to permeate our societies and do nothing we see you and history will not forget you my people now the video night on a new watch from this so my people on a see what you for inside the video 
All right, my people, I would like to end the video for you. Make sure let me know what you on and for the comment section. And if you never subscribe, make sure subscribe so that you are not going to miss any latest just where I upload. On a bye bye till I come on away next time. Bye, guys. Catch my next video. Bye, guys.